Shut up and sit down. Hey, hello. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is uh, what is going to be uh, essentially uh, part two. Um, uh, really, part three if you want to count the uh, two parts to part one. Um, on the cutting board and making inlays. Um, so uh, what I'm going to show you today is actually uh, using uh, a program called CamBam, uh, which is a cam program uh, that uh, to create the tool pass inside um, uh, based off the video that we made before from the uh, vector graphics. So um, in the previous video, uh, I actually pulled in an image from uh, from the internet, uh, I traced it using Inkscape, and then ultimately I uh, exported the video using uh, DXF uh, format using Inkscape. It worked fairly well. <clears throat> um, the advantage of exporting using the DXF format in Inkscape is that it actually keeps all the layers that you create um, in Inkscape uh, as opposed to using some uh, uh, external or third-party uh, process, which is something that I also use on occasion. Um, I actually used the, um, uh, the creating it into a, a postscript and then co uh, converting it over to DXF uh, almost exclusively until recently. So, um, and then I switched over to exporting it into uh, from the Inkscape. Uh, now that Inks the new version of Inkscape has the new version of DXF supported. So, uh, all right, let's cut to the chase. Um, I'm gonna switch over here to uh, Kanban here. What you see here is actually the file I've already created. Um, from the previous video, you saw we did the wine glass. Uh, we converted it to a vector. Uh, I took uh, a lot of time, uh, found a different uh, picture uh, to create some grapes with some leaves, and then I uh, she ended up editing the leaves away and just a grape and a stem. And so, what I'm gonna show you real quick uh, is just a quick tutorial of Kanban. Uh, um, this is not going to be a Kanban tutorial, uh, so uh, uh, I just want to warn you right off the bat. So um, uh, what we have here are the different layers that I created in Inkscape, uh, and I will show you them to you one by one, and you're going to see some funny stuff on the screen, and I will explain that, so just uh, bear with me. So uh, we have the uh, grapes, um, uh, which are, are next to the wine glass here, and the wine glass we actually have a stem. Um, uh, the wine and uh, the actual wine glass itself. So I'm going to show you those uh, here. I'm going to uh, unhide them. And so uh, what you, I don't know, I'll show the stem. i tell you what, I'll just show you everything because um, that's just good enough. Okay, so what you see here is the wine glass, the uh, wine in the middle here, uh, and uh, the grapes with the stem. And so what you see are rectangles around the primary objects that we are going to cut and mill. And, and, and I will explain in just a moment why there are rectangles there. Um, uh, unfortunately, I can't hide the rectangles, so I'm just going to have to deal with it for a minute. Um, and when I get the, the opportunity, I'll actually uh, create a video on the whole process of doing this. Um, but I wanted to get this video out um, and make sure everyone had the opportunity to see it. So. Uh, so let's just talk about the wine glass for a moment. Uh, we'll hide everything else. Uh, hide this. Uh, I guess I could have the long picture. Okay, so here we go. Wine glass. What do we got here? Uh, and I'm going to expand our machining uh, operations here. I've already created all the machine operations. Um, I will do some videos on how to use CamBam and create the machining operations in detail later on. But this is just uh, for the benefit of this particular. Example, uh, so what we have, let's real quick and what kind of walk through what we have. We have for the wine glass uh, and the operations in particular, um, uh, there's two primary operations. First, there's a pocket and then there's your profile operation. So what a pocket does is it actually creates uh, a hole or a pocket inside the material you're cutting. And then a profile, what it does is it cuts an outline of something. Uh, so what we want to focus in here really is uh, the profile, if we click on this guy here, you see how uh, everything turns red. And uh, I'll click on Generate Toolpath here. It'll show you, um, and I will zoom in real quick. Uh, this is the toolpath. What it's going to do is it's going to go around the outside of the material here um, and generate the toolpath uh, and leave you with the outline of the uh, material you're cutting away. Um, by contrast, let's really quickly disable this. Um, and I will show you the pocket. Um, it'll take a while to generate the, the 
the G code here um, because uh, pocket operations have a significant amount of uh, uh, more operations and movements on the machine than uh, profile does. Um, so what you see here is uh, it created the pocket for the, all of the operations here. So uh, you'll see here that it's actually cutting out around the wine glass. It cuts out the wine and it cuts out the grapes with the stem. Um, and so uh, ultimately what you end up with is you will on the base platform do the pocket and then on the individual pieces of wood you're cutting the uh, wine glass, the wine, the grapes, and the stem out, uh, individual profiles. Uh, this is a little complicated. Uh, typically, uh, when I do inlays like this, uh, it's, it's one image, uh, which is one pocket, and then uh, one uh, piece of uh, uh, profile wood. But uh, in this case, we're using multiple woods. So there's multiple profiles. And I will show you some uh, in the next video. I'll just show you some quick time lapses of how I did that, and then some pictures, which I will narrate over. Um, so uh, this is all very straightforward uh, in terms of uh, milling operations. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and and, I, and I'll get to them. Um, again, I'll do some detailed tutorials on kind of CAM uh, 101 uh, to walk you through exactly what we're doing here. Um, that's not the point of this video. So, um, why do I have the squares around the objects here? Uh, that is very simple. Um, if I zoom out of here a little bit, you will see that our origin here, uh, which is the intersection of the red and the green, uh, is the, actually the origin of the base material that we are machining. Um, and so what that means is that the overall part um, is a offset from the left hand side and uh, vertically from the bottom a little bit. Uh, so when I'm milling the uh, profiles here I don't want to uh, have to guess uh, where the lower left hand corner is in the uh, material uh, and say oh it's going to be you know three inches from the left hand side so I'll move the milling machine three inches to the left. Uh, so what I do is I put a square uh, around the material that I am uh, milling for a profile and then I set the origin to the corner of the square and that that is where I will zero the milling machine um, and then it cuts the material out uh, just as you see as the square here. So um, again, th that every one of the um, different operations here, um, uh, oops, I don't want to show that guy, let's hide that. Um, every one of the different operations here have a square around it, and what you'll see is we're cutting one, two, three, four, the wine glass one, the wine two, the grapes three, and the stem four. Uh, so there's four separate operations from a profile perspective. There are four separate different types of wood in this particular um, implementation. So um, that's kind of the, the quick uh, tutorial of CAMBAM. Um, I'm not going to go through... Uh, uh, the different uh, operations here. I will end future videos, but uh, the long and short of it is, is we're using an, an eighth inch uh, bit to do the pocketing and an eighth inch bit to do the routing uh, of the profiles for most of the operations. And then there's a couple situations here, like for this base operation here, where we're using a, uh, a 16th inch bit of 0 0.0625 bit uh, to do the pocketing. Um, uh, and again, relatively complicated why we're doing that and it just turns out that it wasn't the best decision on my part so we will uh, worry about that later um so I, I hope you enjoyed the video i know it was short my apologies it wasn't a lot of detail here but um we will uh we'll get on with other videos to kind of dive deep into this i didn't want this one to drag out so if you like the video as always please give it a thumbs up um i would appreciate that um if you don't like the video thumbs up as well and uh, I hope to see you soon and look forward to the next video where I'm going to show uh, actually uh, milling out uh, the, the wood and then the assembly. And uh, unfortunately, I do not have a final picture of the finished product uh, where it's nice and sanded and, and finished. Um, but I'll show you as close as I got. Um, I forgot to take a picture before we give it away as a door prize for a party that we had. So uh, thank you again for watching and we hope to see you soon. Thanks.